high. Um, so I haven't had a, made a YouTube video in like forever. Since the dawn of time, so I thought I'd uh, make a YouTube video. I'm really, really tired, but today was an awesome day. Um, so I've been high. I've been handing in a bunch of assignments. This is going to be mostly about school. I've been handing in a bunch of assignments, and so far the lowest grade I've gotten is a B minus. And I think we've handed in like seven or eight assignments, so that's really cool. Or maybe it's only six, um, but it's, you know, around that range. And so, that's awesome. Um, we're, we're handing in like the biggest assignment yet on next Friday, which is a week from now, because it's Friday here in New Zealand. And it's like a whole design book, and so that's scaring the crap out of me. But I'm not going to think about that. Not today, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm having a date with my fiance, so that's awesome. Um... Yeah, today I was um, pretty much invincible. I mean, I kind of did an assignment, and it was kind of rough. But I pulled out of my ass, and we were supposed to present our, um, we were making desktops, you know, just on, on Photoshop. And I know that sounds pretty simple, and to be honest, it kind of is. But at the same time, I just did it last minute. But um, I took a drawing of mine of a pillow monster. He was one of my, um, my characters I like to draw a lot because I have insomnia, and so... I had a hallucination um, about two years ago that um, it was about, I hadn't slept in four days and I looked outside my window and there was this crazy um, pillow and in my mind I, I instinctively knew it was my pillow but there's this crazy pillow and he's looking at me and he's, he just keeps chanting dream, dream, dream. And immediately in my head I, I was hallucinating and he's standing in this grassy field outside my window. Um, this was back in Mariposa, California. and I, I immediately knew that if I was to fall asleep, that my pillow was going to eat my head. And so, you know, I haven't slept in four days, and so I didn't sleep that night either, so I didn't sleep for five days. And um, when you when you don't sleep for about five or days, um, five days, you, you, you do, you start to hallucinate. And um, and I know people are like, ooh, hallucination, that's awesome. No, it, it, like, I seriously was terrified. And I, um, then another creepy thing is you just you keep looking around and you keep, thinking you see things that aren't there, like, I kept seeing little people, there was, like, people with bird heads, and I thought, you know, they're, like, they're only, like, this big, and they're, like, on the ground walking around, and you just, you do, you get really freaked out, um, so, yeah, that, that was, um, so, anyway, I made this desktop image of the whole thing, and it, it's, um, him saying dream, and, so, but, we did it in Photoshop, so you have all the layers, and I flattened it, which means all the layers are get compressed for those people that don't know Photoshop, which means you can't actually look at the individual steps I made. And so um, I think that's going to come back and bite me a bit. But uh, the presentation, I told the story like I just told you, but I made it all funny and charismatic. I don't really feel like I'm making the best entertaining video at this moment because I feel really tired. Um, yeah, insomnia again. And so um, anyway, but I made the teacher laugh. And I just, everything I did today, I really felt invincible. Like, I mean, I just could do anything. Like, I pulled that assignment out of nowhere, and, um, you know, I would buy something, and I had direct change immediately. Like, I'd pull it out of my wall. Like, I just, you know, I had a bunch of money in my pocket, and I'd pull it out, and it was, like, exact change. Or, you know, I'd go to the bus station, and right as I walk out the door, the bus pulls up, and um, um, we had um, some meetings, and we were talking about some deep life stuff, you know, I, I made some really good points, and people thought, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, um, I know, which, you know, is so important, um, impressing people, not really, but, I, I don't know, I just felt like today I was on the mojo, and that was really cool, so that was a good day, um, also, I bought candy, oh, I haven't had candy in forever, of course, ah, uh, they don't call candy here, they call it lollies, which I find ridiculous, because lollies are lollipops, as a matter of fact, you don't even call lollipops lollies. They're just lollipops. I'm becoming more and more like a New Zealander. Like, I know my way all around town. I know the shops. You know, people recognize me on the street. Um, I know all the bus drivers. All the bus drivers know me. Because I take the bus. Because I'm a poor um, university student. And the bus is free for um, university students. But it's not for, you know, like, high school students and stuff, which sucks. Like, you know how in the States we have school buses? They don't. So they gotta pay, like, I think for high school students not adults yet, so they only had to pay like a dollar, which in New Zealand is, you know, like the equivalent to like maybe 50 cents American, and so probably even less than that, I think, technically. 
Oh, it might be a little bit more, it might be 75 cents, but still 75 cents a day, you know. I guess it's only like 5 bucks a week, but I'm poor, so that seems like a lot. So I'm glad I don't have to pay to ride the bus. Especially back and forth every day, you'd be, it would suck. Um, so anyway, yeah, I feel like I'm just going accustomed to things, and, you know, that's really cool. I'm really enjoying it, you know. And uh, I was just thinking today, um, my whole entire job is basically the play. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, like, today I was cutting out pictures to put in this book that I'm making, and then I'm painting in Photoshop, and, you know, I'm researching um, just pieces of art, and I'm just telling people why I like them, or why I don't like them, or what I think is strong, and what I think, you know, actually makes it good. And so that was pretty cool. Um, it's like, I don't know, I just, I feel really lucky and really happy today. Today was good. And then tomorrow, I was going to get my hair cut, but, um, I'm running low on funds, so I'm not going to get my hair cut until Tuesday when I get some more money in. Um, but, so yeah, that'll be weird. I think I'll probably post a video with my hair cut, because I look a little bit different. Um, my hair's a little bit wide, you can't see it. It's pretty high up there today. Um, so yeah. <sighs> I feel suddenly really tired, but at the same time, I don't want to go to bed, because it's only... It's not even 11 o'clock yet, and I get to sleep in. And so I feel like, if I go to bed now... I'll, I won't wake up to my alarm, I'll just like wake up on time and I'll just kind of lie in bed. So, you know, I kind of want to like sleep in and not like wake up early and then, oh, now what do I do? So I'd rather, you know, have that time at night, so. I wish some people were on, um, my Skype buddies long, you know, everyone else. Are they on? Oh, they're not. No one's on. Well, technically Becky's busy, but she's always busy, it seems. She pops up at times, so we talk, so that's cool. I'm really tired, and I don't think I'm really, I just think my voice is really monotone, and I sound probably really dead. But today was good. Um, another thing, um, it's really weird, I've been listening to this, um, Japanese kind of pop rock song, 